a very good day to my teacher and my friends. My name is Jetan Shri. I am from Four Mutami. Today I want to tell a short story about the curious cup. Once in a jungle there lived a lion and his family. Once the lion grew older, it said to its cub, Oh, my son, I have always kept under your guidance, and now it's your turn to protect yourself. You are the strongest along with them. But every animal is not dangerous except a human being. The cup replied. Humans? Yes, humans. They are very dangerous. Once the lion has been has reached its brink of death. The lion died. So the cub is left alone. It's the cub. It's the cub's duty to protect himself now. After some time, the cub thought wish to see a human being. So the cub went on a journey to find a human being in the jungle. On its way, it saw a tall animal, brown in color. It was a horse. But since a cub had not seen a human being, it it presumed a horse as a human being so it asked the horse are you a human being the horse replied me a human being no i am a horse and humans are very intelligent. They ride on me. The cub replied, Ride on you? Yes, they are very dangerous. So the cub continued to its journey. While uh, the, the cub thought, Hmm, human beings must be very strong and dangerous. On its way, the cub saw a camel. Since the cub did not see a human being, the cub presumed the camel as a human being. So, so the cub asked the camel, Listen, are you a human being? The camel burst left and replied, Me? Why am I a human being? I'm a camel. And humans are very, extremely dangerous. They ride on me or they, they put heavy weighted things on me to to travel them from one place to another so on its way the cup thought hmm humans must be really big strong and dangerous on its way the cup found a man. The man 
was cutting the the trees and removing the sickle from the wood. So the cup went in front of the man and asked, Have you ever seen a human being? The man replied, Me? Why do I need to see a human being? I myself am a human being. The cup was shocked to hear. The cup never thought that a human being will be so small than its thoughts. You, a human being? I thought human beings were supposed to be big and dangerous, but you? I can hunt you down in this very time. The man was angry and the man replied, Stop it. If you think you are strong, remove this sickle from the wood. So, as the man said, the cup removed the sickle from the wood. But in the gap, when the, when the cup was removing the sickle, the the gap, the gap was closed and then the cup said oh no my hand please save me the man replied if if you want to be saved do not even do this to me again and then the cup replied Okay, I won't. I will not ever confront a human. So, as the cup promised, the man removed the, the, the wood from the gap and the, the cup's hands were free. So, it, the cup ran away. The moral of the story is we must follow our parents' advice. Thank you.